anything to make it safer for uh, pedestrians and people on a bike would be would be huge for us. Even after a trial, one family says justice still hasn't been done for their son. First here at 9 o'clock, taking responsibility one way or another. That's what a mother and father in Georgetown say they want from the young men who left the scene after their son was hit and killed. Aaron Davison was sentenced for hitting the cyclist and taking off and released less than three weeks later. Now, Tommy Ketterhagen's parents are suing Davison and the man who was riding inside his car that day for more than $1 million. But as KXAN's Brittany Glass explains in an in-depth report, that passenger will never be held criminally responsible. For the father of Tommy Ketterhagen, the civil lawsuit is about getting what the justice system couldn't give his family. Even if he had done the two years, it still wasn't enough. The family's the attorney says they're focused on holding the young men responsible the who could have done something to save Tommy. For the better part of 10 to 12 hours, they searched for their boy when two young men who were in an obvious and serious traffic collision hit and did not come forward to the police. That is until days later. According to Texas state law, the criminal responsibility falls only on Davison, the driver, not a passenger. You only have a duty to act or to do something or provide information or, or to seek medical attention if you are the, por the person that's involved as the operator in the accident. Williamson County District Attorney Sean Dick says the fact that a witness told police they saw two people at the scene made the case more legally complicated. To prove which one of the two was actually the driver could have forever been a problem, but for the fact that Aaron Davison did come forward and admit to being the driver. Despite some jail time, Ketter Hagen says the price hasn't truly been paid for his son's death. He got the minimum and then you know, through high dollar lawyers and loopholes, they, they even got out of that. And so it felt a little bit like a mockery. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. District Attorney Sean Dick says he believes they reached an appropriate plea agreement in this case, but that it was not carried out the way they intended when Davison was released. Now the district attorney is working with the local state lawmaker, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, and the Board of Pardons and Paroles to work to make a minor legislative change to prevent such releases like Davison's from happening again.